Hey everyone, it's Daniel Terranelli again, and I wanted to go over with everyone the dreaded not interested, okay? So you pick up the phone, you dial a number, somebody tells you they're not interested, okay? A lot of times you don't know this person, they don't know you, and there's no trust bill, okay? It's a, it's a cold call, all right? It's a, one of the toughest things to do. That's why people hate them, because they get rejection, okay? They get somebody saying, oh, I'm not interested, I'm, you know, and they hang up the phone. So what you want to actually do is you don't want to be afraid to get hung up on. And you actually want to dig deep and you want to ask them the uncomfortable questions until you break through that defense barrier. And then the prospect on the phone is actually going to open up to you. And if you can break through that def defense barrier, they'll actually open up to you a lot more than if they were already in a good mood and they're already opened up to you. Okay, so if somebody says they're not, they pick up the, they pick up the phone, Hey, I'm not interested. Hey, I understand you're not interested whatsoever. Listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. Can we take two minutes to see if this might be a good fit? And then we can go our separate ways. Is that fair enough? Okay, you want to break down their barriers. Um, or, you know, you get into a little bit of your pitch and they give you a flat objection. Oh, we already got something like that. We're already using the service or, you know, we want to keep it, you know, within our department or whatever the excuse may be. You actually want to come up with a quick response and play out a scenario for them that would be more beneficial. So I'm going to give you an example. I was on the phone with the general sales manager and uh, he said he wanted to keep the service in-house. Hey, I completely understand you want to keep the service in-house, but if we could cut your BDC costs in half and we double the production that you've been getting, do you think that would be a good choice that you would have made? Okay. I gave him a scenario, painted the picture a little bit for him and asked him, do you think that would be a good choice for you? Yeah, I ask him, is that something you'd be interested in? Because he doesn't know enough about me, about the company, he doesn't know exactly what the company could do for him. So I didn't really say if that's something you'd be interested in. I just played out a scenario and I simply asked the prospect, do you think that would be a good choice? Okay, so that's if you're a little bit further down the call, you wanna break down the barriers and you actually do not wanna be, you don't wanna be afraid to get hung up on, okay? You want to actually keep asking them and you wanna keep digging these uh, things that you're saying, you want to keep digging to the prospect, right? And you want to make sure that you can break through those defense barriers to be able to get to the next step of the call. And that's getting them to open up, figuring out what they want to accomplish. So don't be afraid to keep pushing. If they hang up on you, you can call them again, or you can just give them a call, you know, in, in a couple hours, you know, say, hey, I, and you want to actually confront the uncomfortable. What I mean by that is you want to be like, hey, I know you hung up on me earlier or we got disconnected. People can say the disconnect thing. You can just be real with them. Hey, I know you hung up on me. It's okay. You know, you don't know me. I don't know you. I actually didn't get a chance to explain to you how my product or service can tremendously benefit your company or your lifestyle, whatever you're selling. Be real with the people. Confront what they're already thinking and beat them to their objection. So I was in this call. I said, hey, listen, I know you're not interested and I know you're about to hang up on me, but our service can actually increase your overall floor room traffic. They can get you overall business and we work on commission only will save you thousands. So I actually confronted what the guy was thinking. I already told him and said, hey, I understand. And it seems like you're about to hang up on me. I confronted the issue. I already, I beat him to the objection. I expected the objection, I beat him to it. That's how you build rapport, especially with somebody that doesn't have a lot of time. They're very closed off in the beginning. Beat them to their objection and keep digging until you get them to open up. I promise you this will work. Hope this video helps. Like, subscribe to the 7th Call YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Taranelli. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care.